What's up everybody? John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. Where you can sign up for my newsletter, get a nice digest so you don't miss a review or anything like that. And also check out my new release comics. We are reviewing Best of Archie, the Deluxe Edition Volume 2 today. And I bought all of these in a Archie sale a couple weeks ago. And got, got a bunch of these at like 50% off, and they were already discounted. So I got these at, I think, like $8 a book or something like that. It's a thick hardcover. It's one of those kind of like light hardcover types uh, in construction. Um, and, you know, binding's all right. And pretty cool stuff. Just like the first one, this is formatted in a way where you get... Um, some 40s comics, uh, what, they, what they do, they had an essay about the 40s in the last one and then an essay about the 50s, but they skipped that in this one so they just get right to the comics. They do have essays about the individual comics and just some fun stuff. This is a, a one where Archie's running around on his jalopy. We get, uh, we get some more of Bob Montana's newspaper strips, another super duck. And what's great about these, um, these so far is that you know you really are getting a whole smattering of different Archie comics in here. So you get Super Duck, you get Archie, you get um, Katie Keene, the the fashion model. Very fun stuff. This is uh, I'd actually read this one before in a different collected edition uh, with with uh, these uh, these uh, fashion dummy models. Very funny, and this is one of the more classic Archie strips to my knowledge. We had a character, Wilbur, who I wasn't really familiar with before reading this, but, you know, it fits well. Ginger, uh, this is a basically opposite of Archie, who's uh, a gal who's, who's boy crazy. And um, a little bit of football stuff going on in that one, which was cute. We get Pat the Brat, which is Dennis and the Menace type of deal. Lots, of, Like I said, this one has lots of different characters, so you get to learn a lot. This one's got um, some Martian. What's it called? Uh... I forget the name. Forget the name of this one. It's uh, Cosmo the Merry Martian, and uh, I actually have a collection of the full run of this. Very bizarre little science fiction tale. Cute, cute stuff by Bob Montana. Also, then we get into Katie Keene, as I mentioned, and you get some pinups at the end of her story there. And we get into the sixties, and this is really where the iconic stuff comes in. Jughead's fantasy, where he acts like a superhero. Good stuff. And as I roll through this, I, I have to say that I actually like the stories in this one better than the first volume. Um, they, they allow for some longer stories in here, which, you know, allow you to connect with the characters a little bit more. And I think this, uh, this one, you get a nice little story about a cat in here. Very cute. You can tell that they haven't really restored that one before compared to the, some of the others because uh, of the way the scan looks. But it's all right. Uh, still a nice story. And we get a uh, Mr. Lodge story there. Just lots of cool stuff. And very different stuff than the first volume also. Betty uh, the Super Teen. That's a fun little thing. We get a, a, a Archie Robin Hood setup. Good stuff. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I mean, every story in here is just like, I, I just wonderful and very funny. I was very happy to read all of this. Um, all the way through each story. I mean, I really just there wasn't a single stinker and that is very rare for me to say This was a weird one where we had some like scooby-doo style adventure where they're looking into a crypt and there's some criminals um, and Very different from the rest of the stuff in the book also I just loved like the different stories in here and the different characters and really just how much uh, There's there is going on. I mean you really do not just have those you know, one-off slice of life Archie stuff in this volume, uh, which is neat. Need to see the real depth of all of this uh, this stuff here. Let's see, little Archies. Yep, yeah, you get all the. Yeah, it's it's just a whole smattering of stuff. And I'm trying to get to a, you get a, a one where Archies in Roman times. And you really see where they, like, take Archie and just throw him into different settings, like Romans, Robin Hoods, superheroing. There's there's lots of interesting fantasy stuff they do with the characters also, which provides for a lot of fun. I missed I missed one of the stories here. Where What am I looking for? I'm looking for... Where are we? 
I'm looking for something very important to me and maybe my audience too, which made me thrilled to read this book. Where was this? Huh. It's somewhere in here. Uh, 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 uh. Is this the late 60s or early 70s? Somewhere in here. We're into 1980 now? Hmm. Somewhere in here in the 80s. This is this is volume two. I, I saw Tom DeFalco's first book. It is in here. Man, where is it? Dexter Taylor, Dexter Taylor, Sam Schwartz. Did I miss something? Oh, here it is. The Delivery in the Dumbbell. This is Tom DeFalco's first story. Where is this? Um, oh, finally got my first six-pager illustrated. And interesting, uh, that's why I didn't see it. It wasn't credited to Tom DeFalco in here. But uh, this is Tom DeFalco's first... Why did they do that? They have him actually write the intro to it, uh, but they didn't credit him on it. The Delivery of the Dumbbell. This is Tom DeFalco, uh, the former editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics, the guy who ran Thor and Spider-Man and Fantastic Four for a long time, the creator of Spider-Girl, uh, my favorite writer. Uh, actually, this is his first sale as a script, a six-pager about Archie trying to deliver a cake for, uh, for Veronica's birthday, and this made me so excited to read. I knew DeFalco got his start at Archie Comics, He's actually the guy responsible for Archie uh, going into digests. And so he came up with that idea, which has been kind of their supermarket making money strategy for decades. And uh, this is his first story that he did. So I was stoked. Um, it's it's cute. Um, you know, I mean, obviously DeFalco, you know, gets better later on. Uh, but it's not, it's not bad. Very enjoyable stuff. And I was very, very excited uh, to find this DeFalco piece in Archie Comics. There's a little bit of comic book history here that uh, that folk might have not realized otherwise. Cool. That made the whole volume for me. <laughs> we get to the 90s, and, you know, the 90s stuff is all right. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the 90s as much. I enjoyed the Josie storyline and the Jughead storyline here. Uh, we get some, some night story here. Uh, we get a, a, a reboot of K Katie Keene, and this is by artist Andrew Pepoy, and I hope I, I say that right. And, um, you know, uh, I, I kind of like his art, so interesting stuff. Sabrina, and we get a bunch of covers again. Some uh, some stuff from the proposal from that whole marriage of Archie thing, that, they, that whole gimmick they did in the 2000s. And then, you know, just like, just like the other... Um, the other volume, the first volume, and this is where these these kind of lose it for me. Uh, they get into the 2010s, and the 2010s, unfortunately, Archie versus Kiss is kind of cute. Uh, they had a whole Gene Simmons thing. Um, there's nothing wrong with this story or anything like that. It's just it continues in the Archie versus Kiss graphic novel. So so everything from this point forward is just an advertisement for other graphic novels. So you really get 300 pages of oh this is fun goodness, and then the last hundred or so are uh, just advertisements for other graphic novels for the current stuff, which, you know, I mean, I've, I've read a lot of that stuff now, and I did another review of the Varsity Edition, uh, which you can look for on the channel. But, you know, getting a sampler that's, a, that, you know, is, really defeats the point. I mean, what's great about that early stuff is they're complete stories, and you get to read those and have fun with those. So, Enjoyable, I thought this was better than the first volume. This, I, I really probably read through this in less than an hour. I was so, so, so much fun. Uh, the Tom DeFalco story really makes it for me. I'm stoked that's in there. Nine out of 10. I think uh, so far out of all the Archie stuff I've read, um, this is the best volume and I would recommend getting this first. Even though it says book two, it's not like there's continuity or anything like that in these. The, these are just picked stories. And I think this is a little better than volume one just as a reader. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think and I'll be back soon.